hold on to things rather than hold ourselves, uh, how we hold ourselves energetically, quote unquote, or perhaps beyond energetic to just being. We're supposed to hold ourselves energetically for a living in a natural way. Mm. But the problem is that we are decomposing energetically and physically. So our current age is why we are rotting from inside. Why our immunities are low and stagnant? Why our being is stagnant? Why young people suffer back pains, other pains? Because we don't hold ourselves together anymore. The consciousness is so outward, so dispersed, so attached to things outwards, even ideas, even people, even ideas about people potential, imaginary, games, TV, so many things that we no longer can even hold ourselves together as we should because we cannot feel wholesome. We are dispersed. We are all over the place. Now, all these limited aspects of reality drain our energy and keep us in a dispersed way of being. And how long can you stay like this? Because health, after all, is wholesomeness. Immunity is a natural shield of self when the self is there wholesome and content and self-empowering continuously, right? Now it's disempowering. It, uh, plus consciousness is trashing its, its own body by making stupid, silly choices towards its own body. So what happens afterwards? There is slow decomposition, rotting. That's where the life is so short. We try to prolong it with drugs artificially, but we can't keep it together. People live after, they, they don't anymore live. They just suffer from their young age, from their childhood. So many children are sick. Why? Because they don't get this proper genetic material from their parents. Because they, their parents' energetical structure is kind of dispersed and ruined. So that's the way we degrade. We do not degrade only on the physical. The physical is already the result of the uh, internal corruption, the corruption of our energy body. And many people say, oh, Jivan Mukti speaks so negative about everything. She sees everything. Well, you don't need to accept what is. You can live in your own self-created delusion, create your own clarity for a while. But sooner or later, you'll come to the same point because the pain will bring you back to the reality of self-dispersion of self-delusion. So this natural law of keeping self together, which means attracting and keeping all these particles, elements within ourselves in a balanced way, in a united way, is now corrupt in balance, so nothing is kept together. And that's why we are all over the place. We don't even know what is self, what is the sense. It's dispersed all over. On all levels, it's like we scattered ourselves on a subtle level, which is intellectual, mental. Our intellect is wondering about some concepts or reality or spirituality. Our mind is uh, trying to solve our economical problems, political problems. Our emotions are all over the place because we are wondering what our girlfriend or boyfriend are thinking about us and maybe we're insecure and they can leave us and this is such a big drama. Or other things, issues with children, children go out of hand and we don't know how to find means and ways to really keep them together because we can't keep together ourselves. And so um, what is then happening on the physical level? It's absolute chaos. It's absolute stress. What is stress? Now, all these doctors and famous people talk about stress. What is stress? Stress is a con complete congestion because this is the only force which can keep us together. Because everything else is so imbalanced that no natural force can keep us anymore together. And so we need to con congest. It's, a, it's the last survival instinct, the protective instinct to congest to congest nervous system, to congest everything, to at least hold self for a while. And it becomes our prolonged living. And this 
prolonged living, so you start stressing from 20, already by the 40 you are a wreck. And all the diseases and problems start and, and just everything starts falling apart. And you're just using drugs or whatever means to uh, pharmaceuticals to keep yourself on the physical level, but the, the energetic level is already disturbed. And so how do we start building ourselves together? By reading books? No. By first of all realizing why our mind, our consciousness, on all levels, I don't want to go into all these bodies, intellectual, there's all these theories, just consciousness is dispersed <coughs> on all levels and drained through all means. So the natural force, whatever is given there naturally by consciousness in a given body, starts perceiving that the body is not, it drained itself earlier than it should. And so there is a natural then process of failure within the energetic system and within the physical, obviously, failure of organs, cancer. It's what? decomposition premature decomposition and the fact that we become all of a sudden prone to bacteria because they are at all times there and our immunity simply has gone down what is again immunity is that the same primordial force that keeps us all together that force of attraction which holds everything together is falling apart energetic system falling apart life is falling apart losing job, uh, losing money, losing relationship, everything falling apart because we, the, the energetic structure is corrupt and fallen apart. And the, then what the person does stresses the final solution, which is unconscious because it's, it's just the self-preservation instinct. The bodies and the mind start stressing to just keep it at least to some degree all still going. And prolonged stress naturally lowers immunity because if it's for a long time, the body can no longer fight the natural forces of decomposition because these natural forces like bacteria and viruses are there to eliminate trash, rubbish, you know, scrap, scrapes of whatever. Let's say a, a rotten apple the bacteria needs to come there and attack that rotten apple to decompose it into little particles so that it just goes, becomes even with the soil. And maybe these particles feed maybe a tree or something like that. So everything in the nature is circular and natural. And the fact that we get decomposed earlier than we should is a sign of our spiritual, mental, intellectual, emotional corruption. Because the body is the fruit that rots because the root is corrupt and this root is our being. We're not connected with the root. And because we're not connected with our being and we don't perceive ourselves as existence, we have no natural nourishment. And because this natural nourishment is not coming, we exhaust our intellectual, mental, emotional faculties prematurely. And the result is that the virus enters because there is no natural shield and the shield is conscious awareness, that conscious natural power that keeps it all together. And so there is an energetic opening, opening through all kinds of emotions, through emotional imbalance. What is emotional imbalance? It's constant fluctuation of the being. It's an ability to be in the natural being. Natural being is equin equinomous being. So it's constant balancing from excitement to some fear to some other emotions in between. So all this love, hate, excitement, fear are all exhausting our being because there is no wholesome perception of self. When there is no wholesome perception of self, there is no source of nourishment. And thus, our immunity field goes down and naturally bacteria and viruses perceive that this is the dying matter. It's the dying matter. So it starts 
getting there and decomposing and helping it to die further. Meaning death, it's a decomposition. So we don't know what spiritual meaning of death is it or transformation. All we know of death is premature decomposition of the flesh, which is not real death. Nor we know of real life because we cannot live in the natural way so that we can keep ourselves together, feel this, perceive ourselves as a wholesome being and so perceive the reality actually in a very wholesome way and yet multidimensionally perceiving self and everything which exists. Thank you.